Welcome back to Gate Insider, a channel dedicated to serving the manufacturing community around the world. Thank you to our host, GreatGages.com, a one-stop shop for all your precision measuring needs. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss an upload. Hi, I'm Drew Kleber with Minitoy America Corporation. I'm here with Jeremy Banks. In today's tool tip, we're gonna discuss how to get started with your brand new linear height gauge. So Jeremy, we have a brand new linear height here, fresh out of the box. Can you walk me through some steps that you would recommend for getting up and going with a new unit? Right, so the first couple things you gotta do is uh, you're gonna have to zero out the linear scale. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna have to uh, calibrate the probe, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna have to set an absolute origin. Great, can you show me how to do those right now? Yeah, let's get started. Very good. So Drew, as you can see, uh, the gauge is now ready for me to zero out the linear scale. Uh, to do that, all I gotta do is follow the direction on the screen and move the slider to the highest position. So I'm gonna do that now. So all I'm gonna do is move the slider up to the top of the unit and it should beep when I hit the home position. Oh, that's easy enough. And now you can see your display's changed. Yeah, so now I've zeroed at the scale. Uh, now it wants me to uh, set the probe and the absolute origin. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the probe calibration button. And then I'm gonna select method two, which is using the included artifact. Now the machine will automatically go up and measure the bottom of the artifact. As you can see on the screen, it now wants me to position the probe so that I can measure the top of the artifact. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it. Once the probe is in position, I'm gonna press the enter key to continue. As you can see now, the probe diameter measures 4.9940, so the probe diameter has been calibrated. So now, Drew, the last thing we have to do is set the absolute origin. To do that, I'm gonna hit the datum button and I'm gonna select the first option to just measure down. Now the probe's made contact with the granite and you can see back on the uh, display that the granite now measures zero. Well, that's pretty easy to get up and going and it didn't take very much time at all. No, no, it's, it's actually very easy to get going. It's quick, uh, the gauge is now ready to use. If I have a small to medium sized part, I can measure it with no problem. Okay, what if you have a larger part that maybe extends a little bit beyond the normal measuring range? Well, as you can see, the, the probe holder has two positions. Um, so I can actually change. Oh, gotcha. Right, right, there's one on the bottom and one on the top. So I can actually switch from the lower position to the upper position. And then all I have to do is re-zero. So uh, we'll take a couple of minutes, I'll show you how to do that. Perfect. Drew, as you can see, there's two positions on the slider. The probe is currently in the lower position and I wanna move it up to the top. So I'm gonna hold the slider so that it doesn't uh, pull back up with the counterweight when I remove the probe. Now there's a little notch or an indentation on the probe that I'm gonna line up when I insert it into the top slot to make sure that it is oriented correctly. And I'm gonna so go ahead and lock that down. So keep you from putting it in incorrectly. Yeah, it's, it's meant to be used either in an up position or a down position. Uh, at a different angle, you're not gonna get uh, the rigidity that you need to get accurate measurements. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hit the datum button on the front of the screen. And then I'm gonna select option number four, which is a preset. So to continue, I'm gonna hit enter. So the measurement's been made and now the uh, display wants to know what the offset value is. Uh, so it's a 390 position on the Checkmaster. Now what you want to do to be sure is you want to take your certification for the Checkmaster and make sure that you put in the exact value. And it's probably not going to be 390, it's probably going to be 390 and then a bunch of decimal places. So make sure that that accurate value is put into this box. Once you're satisfied, go ahead and hit enter to accept the changes. And that's very easy to do, but what if I don't have a Checkmaster like this? Well, you could use a stack of gauge blocks. Um, or you could use a master part that has a certified value. Once again, thank you so much for watching Gate Insider. For more information, visit greatgages.com or you can look down in the description for our toll-free number. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.